Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different cameos and connections to the prequels and the originals by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this film that a lot of people are really excited about is, of course, exactly how J.J. is going to utilize all the different connections to not just the prequel trilogy era and the originals, but also Star Wars Rebels and using the expanded universe as inspirational material for this movie. Now, we do know that J.J. and Chris Terrio are very much hard at work during post-production. They're really giving, their, giving it their all in order to really satisfy a majority of Star Wars fans around the world. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for the characters of Rey and Ezra Bridger, and a new identity for the character of Ezra in The Rise of Skywalker. Now, specifically, a description of Rey within the Lost City, where it's described that she enters the Land of Warriors, a place full of Jedi statues and structures. The next goes over Rey coming across many Jedi statues, where it's described that she eventually finds the statue of Ezra Bridger. It's said that it was sculpted sometime between the events of the originals and the sequels, and that in the sculpture, Ezra appears to be older. On the bottom of the statue, Ezra, Ezra is referred to as the Savior of the Unknown. The next goes over Ray reading the Journal of Ezra Bridger, where the book is dubbed as the Book of the Savior. It's said that Ezra being called the Savior has to do with the time he spent in the Unknown Regions, and that this statue was sculpted by worship of the Force. It's described that the statue stands around 30 feet high, where Ezra has long hair in the sculpture, holding a staff. Additionally, the staff that once belonged to Ezra that is discovered by Rey is dubbed as the Staff of the Savior. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about all of this and as to why Ezra Bridger is being referred to as the Savior and why this is actually his new identity in the movie, at least in the form of Ezra Bridger's legacy in the unknown, or should I say, in the Land of Warriors that is actually based on what was done in the unknown regions. So with that being said, in case you guys are just tuning in, in case you guys have no clue what the Land of Warriors really is, it is a section based within the Lost City where there are tons of Jedi statues, including Ahsoka Tano and other Jedi out there, like the first Jedi, and other characters that are either familiar in Star Wars Rebels or even other characters from the Expanded Universe that are going to be made canon. Now, like I say, we do know that J.J. Abrams is using a lot of Jedi and Sith lore in order to really expand the characters and, in, and also as a way to evolve the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren in this story. So the first thing that I do want to go over is the statue of Ezra Bridger being referred to as the Savior of the Unknown. Now, without a doubt, this has something to do with the Unknown Regions. We do know that at the very end of Star Wars Rebels Season 4, you know, both Thrawn and Ezra go into hyperspace and it's widely assumed that they went over into the unknown regions. So him being referred to as the savior of the unknown, it pretty much tells us that this is a character that is going to be quite important in Star Wars lore and of course the entire franchise. We do know that Dave Filoni was in a lot of discussions with J.J. Abrams while he was writing the script and that there are going to be a lot of cameos in this movie, not just in the form of statues. So with that being said, all right, the other piece that I do want to go over is the journal. Now, we heard about Ezra Bridger's journal a couple of times, I would say two weeks ago, and now it's being referred to as the Book of the Savior. So Ezra being referred to as the Savior, like I say, it has something to do with the Unknown Regions. Now, we also know that a lot of ancient Jedi and Sith, as we went over a couple of months ago, originated over in the Unknown Regions, and that's exactly what Rey learns about in the Book of the First Jedi, as we went over not too long ago, as well as in the entire Lost City itself. So Ezra Bridger being a character that's looming in the background and being used as a way to evolve some of the sequel trilogy characters from all corners of the galaxy, anybody that can help them in order to take down the First Order once and for all. And you can only imagine you know, what J.J. Abrams plans to do with that particular scene. 
So the other thing that I do want to go over is the staff. Now we heard about Ezra Bridger's staff as an actual prop piece that was used on set about two months ago, and that this staff is actually now being referred to and dubbed as the Staff of the Savior. So exactly why is Ezra Bridger being referred to as the Savior and the Savior of the Unknown? Now we pretty much know that Ezra Bridger and Thrawn went over into the Unknown Regions. It's highly likely that, well, Ezra Bridger being a Jedi and all, actually saved something to do with the Unknown Regions. Maybe there was some kind of threat out there that Ezra Bridger saved, you know, certain populations from, like certain worlds or something like that, we're not quite sure. But one thing I will say is that when we look at J.J. Abrams, he really does love all the different pieces of Star Wars lore that really do make the franchise complete. And this is by far one of the best ways in order to really kind of honor the character of Ezra Bridger and to really leave fans scratching their heads as to what the Savior of the Unknown really means and why he's actually being referred to as the Savior. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.